Today I'm down on Oneida Lake. Oneida Lake is just north of the city of Syracuse, off from Interstate 81. I get off the Brewerton exit because there's a state park right here. Um, and it got a nice big parking lot, nice launch. It's going to cost you about 10 bucks to uh, launch your boat here. And it kind of puts you right in the bassy section of Oneida Lake. Oneida Lake runs east and west. So on the east end of the lake, this is going to be down by Rome. And uh, that's going to be a little bit more walleye-ish down there. I'm not saying you can't catch a bass there, but <clears throat> up here by the Interstate 81 bridge is going to be a more bassy. Now once you launch here, you're going to be kind of drawn to that bridge because there's, there's a big canal on the other side of it with a, with a big grass flat. It just looks fishy. But here's the first tip of the day. Don't waste your time. There's really two primary areas to uh, bass fish down here on Oneida Lake. The first one would be is you're going to see a couple of islands right off from the launch, launch here. And those islands are surrounded by a big flat. So it's going to take you probably half the day to really fish that flat. Uh, that's a great place to start. Uh, and then the second primary way to fish down here, which is probably the primary way, is to fish the shoals. Oneida Lake is full of shoals all over the place. You'll find individual ones all over the lake. But right in the center of the lake, there's this one great big shoal. And what people do is they'll take a, uh, a soft plastic frog, hook it up weedless, put some weight on it to get it right down to the bottom, and they just kind of fish those nooks and crannies of those shoals. Fish the front of the hump and the back of the hump. You can spend all day over there doing that, and that's, what, that's how they fish it. There's also a bunch of little bays here. Uh, don't be afraid to pull into a bay. There's probably going to be a shoal in there somewhere. Um, my son is coming down later with his, uh, he's got a switch rod, a fly rod. He makes his own flies and uh, he's rigged up some real nice ones for smallmouth and for a pike. He wants to catch a pike on a switch rod. So we're going to do that later, but we're going to go into probably the most popular bay down here on Oneida and that's called Big Bay. We'll do that later, but right now we're going to run over to those islands and start fishing them flats. Nice one here. <laughs> Beautiful. And keep in mind, what, what they do is they, they just nip these jerk baits. You know, and they just get them right on the edge of their mouth and oh, all over the place. Wiggling all over. Ah. Right, he's got it barely, man. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, here's a... This is a magnum, man. This is a big one. Crap. Look at the size of this bugger. Look at that thing, man. That's down in Oneida. That, that, that is a monster bass for Oneida. That guy right there... 21 inches, that's a 6'2", down here on Oneida. 
That is that is a monster for Oneida Lake, man. You know, a majority of the bass down here in Oneida, you're going to be looking at probably three pounds is a majority of them. You catch a four pounder, you're doing great. They don't have a uh, just a pile of six pounders. <laughs> that, that, that was a good catch right there. You know, uh, Oneida runs east and west, so you got to watch that wind. That's why it's important to know what half of the lake that you want to fish, because um, you don't want to be running. This lake isn't huge. You could run the whole lake, but when that wind turns on you, uh, this thing gets rougher than rough really, really quick. So you, you want to divide the lake at least into a half and launch your boat appropriately. What I'm throwing here is this jerk bait. Throwing a jerk bait. Now what I got here is I, I found a trough around one of these islands and I'm just I'm just running through that and throwing my putting my jerk bait right in the middle of that trough. There we go. What we got here? Maybe a pickle. We got a foul hook, whatever it is. Oh, we got a walleye. Yeah. A little walleye. Oneida Lake is known for walleyes, too. Um, actually, it's it's a great little place, but they're not absolutely enormous. They're the perfect eating. Perfect for eating. So, you got to be careful with these buggers. They got nice little teeth on them. Uh, Oneida Lake only gets to be 40 feet deep uh, at the, its deepest spot, you know. So in the winter or in the summertime, that's where these these guys will be. Um, a majority of the places that you'll be fishing, you're looking at 15 to 25 feet. And in the summer, when, once it starts heating up, it gets grassy here, very, very grassy. Uh, so you're probably going to be fishing a lot of weedless, soft plastics. Um, you know, all the shoals, all these little shoals are going to be just covered with grass. So keep that in mind. quick this lake can change on you. I mean the wind's starting to kick in now and it's, it's flipping like that. I'm going to be getting a mess. I'm not going to be able to, my son isn't going to be able to come down here. He isn't going to be able to throw a fly in this wind. You know, and Oneida is known for either being on or off. When it's off, I mean, if you're coming from out of town, you're going to want to give yourself probably at least two or three days. And the good news is, is there's a couple of lakes within an hour of here. One, if you head back towards Syracuse, uh, Skinny Atlas Lake is one that's good to try. And then, or then you can, uh, you can also jump on Interstate 81, head north about an hour, and you're going to be on Lake Ontario. Let me see if I can scoop this guy. <sighs> um, you know, but. You're going to need a couple days because when this lake is off, it's off, I'm telling you. Um, so it can be really frustrating. You're going to have to work for it, I'll tell you that. Well, that's a decent smallie right there. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. These, these are the, that's going to be a nice one here on Oneida. You know, I hope this video We'll get you on fish a little bit quicker. Uh, this is not my home lake. I don't fish it a ton, but I have wasted a lot of time down here. So I'm trying to save you some time, put you in certain areas where there's gonna be some fish. The winds have picked up big time. Uh, they came out of the east and just turned. All of a sudden started blowing out of the east. You can see how quick this can turn. So we're not gonna be able to fish those shoals today, but 
Make sure you check them out when you come down to Oneida. How are you being fed today? You know, there is no neutral zone with God where we just kind of stay the same. We have to make a conscious effort to be stepping towards Him in order to grow. Otherwise, we're, we're falling away. I'd like to invite you to check out my church's YouTube channel. It's called Smithville Baptist Church. There's a couple of them. We're the ones from Smithville, New York. But we have some five minute to seven minute videos that they give you something to think about for the day. There's one right at the end of this video. Why don't you check it out?